I do not want to do the show today. I wish I weren't here. I'm um, not at all up. I'm um, I'm troubled, conflicted, a little down. Rarely has it been the case that I have felt this untoward about my daily tasks, responsibilities. I mean, it's normally one of the most fun things that I do. And I just don't have it today. And normally I can sweep these things aside. Normally I can just pretend, you know, for three hours they don't exist, or even incorporate them into the program and try to elevate myself out of the gloom that I find myself to be in. Now, I'll tell you what's what it is. I just I, I see. I don't want to tell you. That's another thing. I don't want to say this, but it, I, mean, I, I feel unlike I have ever felt before. I feel like I normally there's nothing that I don't feel comfortable sharing with you. I mean, I can tell you anything as you know, and I don't. It's the first time I have felt like. Making it up. First time I felt like not, you know, just coming forward. But I have no choice. I, um, you don't know the pressure that I've been under. You, you people have no idea what it's like. You don't know. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And uh, I have my career to think about. And if the mood of this country is not where I am right now, then I'm the one that's going to have to change. And uh, I have been challenged to have the courage to change. And so I have. I am here to tell you that I, today understand the mood of the majority of the people in this country. But I, ladies and gentlemen, um, here at 12 minutes after the hour, on the 22nd of October, I'm here to tell you that I have decided to endorse the candidacy of Bill Clinton. For president. No, I'm not crying. I'm just <clears throat> talk about having no choice. Talk about it's the only way I think the country can really truly be saved. Not with Clinton. I don't think that Clinton himself is going to uh, be the instrument of, 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 of uh, revitalization by virtue of what he will do. It will be what he will cause to occur elsewhere. And uh, I don't know. I just, I'm, 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 I wish I wouldn't have to. You know, I would love to sit here and continue the charade of being for President Bush, but I can't. So there. Now, you know, I'm sure that you understand this has not been easy. I've had to weigh my thoughts very carefully. I've had to weigh this decision. I've thought about it a lot. I've talked to a lot of people. I have not made this decision lightly. 
So, now you see why I want to go home? Now you see why I want to... Now you see why I don't want to be here? I know what, I know what I'm going to get. Here's some news. See, I just, folks, my problem is I just cannot continue to deny the truth as I have been trying. I've been trying to put the good on everything, but the truth, the truth just can't be swept under the rug anymore. Let's see, what else do I have? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm. Let me just go to the phones. Let's just do that and, and uh, see what's because I don't. There's nothing here. It's all, uh, it's all untrue. All this good stuff out. It's just. just I mean, I've got some, when I say good stuff, I've got some funny stuff. It's, I don't feel funny. Um, Camille in Brooklyn. Camille, hi. Rush Limbaugh, welcome to the program. Yes. Well, uh, I'm, I'm surprised you said that you're voting for Clinton. I'm, I'm really shocked. I can't believe you're throwing the towel. Well, <clears throat> um, I really can't believe it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in shock here. I mean, you have me in tears. Well, I don't feel so hot either. I'm just telling you, but it's, it's, um... I mean, Clinton, of all people, I've been watching your show at night. You know, I, I just can't believe you said that. I just can't believe it. I, I'm really disappointed in you. You have to do what you think is right. But Clinton, that slime ball, how could you even think of a uh, vote for that? Oh, my God. I, I just can't talk no more. I just can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hmm. Phyllis in the Bronx in New York. Hello. 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 My name is Phyllis. Yes, ma'am. I am a conservative, and I back my president 100%. I work for the Board of Ed. I am home sick today, but now I'm really sick. Rush, what are you doing to us? I'm sick and tired of the liberals in this country what who are, are pushing what, our what, what, buttons. What, what are you talking about? I mean, you're backing, Mister. You're ba backing uh, Bill Clinton. I oh, am Mr. not. I am. You just said you're backing. I never said that. You said you are going to change your vote. You're not voting for the president. You're going to have to vote for Bill Clinton. That I did not say that. Well, I did not say that I was did going you say? to. What I, did you say? I did not say that I was going to vote. For Bill Clinton. But I heard you say you, those words. You, no, 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 no. This is you're just trying to twist my words and turn them around. I never said it. What did you say? Could could you just tell me you you, you said you could? You know I can't even talk. I'm so upset. I'm I'm practically ready for for tears. Uh, look, I, look, I don't I know. You keep wanting to you. look in. Look, look, look. All I can tell you is I'm, I'm tired. Of it. Everybody wants to look into my past. No, 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 no. All, not all anybody. At the past. It was 23 minutes ago. You keep talking about something that happened 23 minutes ago. It's irrelevant. Can't we move on it's with things that matter? You said about can't changing we, your entire can't conservative talk, view? Can't, can't we talk about the things that I mean, you keep want to say what I said 23 minutes ago? It doesn't matter. It does. You it said does it all not. over the country. It, I, I you didn't told say it. Everybody I didn't all over say the country. It. I was younger 23 minutes ago. Cut me some slack. No. I did. You know, this is the this is the kind of we're trying to move forward. We've got some things that are important that we've got to do on this radio show, and you want to talk about something that happened 23 minutes ago. That's a, right, well, because it's very relevant. It is not. We are two weeks away from the election. You are talking to the entire country, and the entire country is listening to you who has been our, our leader, the one we looked up to for, for everything. Now you're telling us, I can't go with Mr. Bush. I never said now, that. I did not say that you can't go with Mr. Bush. You can go with Mr. Bush. I hope you oh, do. I am going with Mr. Bush. I think everybody should. And and just at this moment, when the industrial production in the country is on the upswing, labor figures are up, I mean, people are really starting to get it back together again. We need, we need to vote for Mr. Bush. He needs us now. He needs our support more than ever. Let me tell you something. I couldn't agree with you more. Where have you been?